Hi, I'm Shoestring Jane. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things thrifty, frugal, money saving and money making. And today I'm focusing really on the money making element because I went to an auction. I men mentioned it in my last video. Oh, Archie's leaving. I went to an auction with my mum last weekend and I am going to go through it all. So I've had a brief look, as I say, but um, I'm going to go look through it properly with you. So the idea is I have a, an eBay shop, which is a business. I focus mainly on collectibles and vintage items and bric-a-brac. I do sell some clothing as well, but that's really what I'm focusing on now. And that's what I'm looking for when I go to an auction. I have don't, you know, I'm, I am just learning. I'm not any sort of expert in the slightest. I buy fairly cheap stuff. There were lots of people buying gold and silver and all sorts at the auction. Well, I haven't got a clue. I'm not even going to put my foot into that. I'm not even dipping a big toe in because I don't know what I'm doing. You'd have to make a big investment. I make a very small investment. So I buy from boot sales, sometimes charity shops. And this is only my second auction. So I thought it'd be a good thing to do is there's no boot sales really going on in my local area over autumn and winter. So anyway, let's show you what I did. I spent £63 something, and that was including the 15% commission they charge at my auction house, which is actually quite cheap compared to some. But I guess they do, they don't do the fine arts and the you know the really expensive stuff. So they aren't that expensive. Um and they have a general sale once a month. Obviously, you have to pay VAT on top of that, so I have to pay VAT on top, but they have a general sale, and that's once a month is is what I am looking to do. So I'll just quickly show you what I've got on the bed first and then I'll go through each box. So this is my auction haul. That's part of one lot. That box over at the far side is the second part of that lot. These two big banana boxes are one lot and this was one lot in here so yeah so I've been I've kind of had a quick look just reminded myself I haven't had a proper look so I'm going to go through and show you and Archie is going to help me aren't you Archie yes she's going to help okay so let's have a closer look so my mum I mean she used to do this kind of thing herself and she used to have a unit in an antique centre and she said she wouldn't have looked twice at this lot but I thought oh, it looks just it looks interesting and that's some of what I like doing is I like to learn about different brands and I'm not spending a lot. I mean, this lot I'm about to show you, it was this bag full and a box full. It was lots of things in boxes and it cost me £10. So nobody else bid on it. I thought, I'll just have a go because it looks interesting. Now, this is Royal Dalton and I think it's a bit of a niche item. It's a little cricketer. And... A lot of people do like um, sporting memorabilia, don't they? So it's Len Hutton, 1916 to 1990, issued in a limited edition of 9,500 and modelled by Stanley, someone, Samuel Taylor, I think. So, you know, it's a limited edition item. It's still in its box. It appears to be undamaged. I don't know what the value is. Before I actually, when I come to edit this, I'll try and find some items if I think they're of you know, value and give you a rough idea. So I'll look that one up. And there's another one. This is Belique. I'd heard of Belique. Fine Parian China, handcrafted in Ireland. It's in its box. I think these are things that people have kept in their boxes but aren't new. And mum spotted straight away a problem with this one. It's quite cute. It's a little cat with kittens, but it's got a missing front leg here so whether that's worth anything at all i don't know floral treasures cat and kittens so with that i mean it's it's damaged i mean if it's not worth anything i might give it to my daughter she loves cats she's turning into a mad cat lady she might want it or i'll just donate it to the charity shop because somebody even though it's broken it won't have massive value somebody might like it i don't like to waste things anyway what is this stuart crystal this looks like it's an unused wedding present or something. It's a summer thing you stick your flowers in, don't you? It's got that bit at the top. It doesn't look like it's ever been used, does it? And it's still in the original box. And that's Stuart Crystal. Mum knew about Stuart Crystal as well. I mean, like, these are things, I don't know, I don't know. But that's what's, that's the fun of it. Oh, there was something disappointing in here. Oh, I'll come to that in a minute because this is on top. Odd random bits of jewellery. There was this... 
Giordano Linea Preciosi, apparently. Looks like the cheapest bit of not not gold. <laughs> it's a, I don't know, what is it? I don't know whether it's a tie pin. It doesn't really look very masculine. Or, I don't know. I don't know what it is. You tell me. You perhaps can tell me. I don't suppose it's got much value. <coughs> Another box item. Historic Royal Palaces. So this has come from Buckingham Palace or somewhere. So we've bought that on a whim. Golden Jubilee, 1952 to 2002. Perfect condition. Someone's bought this and shoved it in their cupboard, haven't they? I don't think there's a great deal of value in this kind of thing because it's produced in a lot, such quantity, really. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still coughing from having that cold, what, five, six weeks ago. Uh, another Tower of London. Yeoman Waters Club. <laughs> that's quite good. I don't know if that's worth anything. It's full of ugh, dead things. It's full of dead insects. So, well, well, this would have been nice, but I didn't realise it being very badly damaged. I think these are bookends. And I mean, I don't know what game this is. It says Philip Club. I mean, look, they kind of look like golf clubs, but they don't, do they? They look too fat. I thought, oh, that's interesting. Uh, that's one of the first things I saw, but I didn't look at it well enough, obviously. A feathery ball. It's a Philip Club and a feathery ball. I thought, first of all, I thought it was the name of a person. And then I realised this one says McEwen Club and Gutter Ball. But look at this one. This is where we go horribly wrong. It's obviously been dropped, completely bashed. I mean, it's still usable, but it's, uh, yeah, sad. It probably means it doesn't have much value. I don't, I mean, I think these things, nobody else was looking at this. So clearly they knew that this lot wasn't worth lots, but... I don't mind that. I don't, you know, for £10, exploring and learning. And it's that's fun, isn't it? Just a random bit of glassware. I should think that will go to the charity shop, to be honest. Just put that back in. Uh, and a random bit of Royal Kent bone china with a boat on it. But it's got no lid. So, again... Is it worth it out? I don't know. This looks like the sort of thing you put on the bottom of a decanter or something, but it's got grapes on it, so it must be something you put on the bottom of a decanter, or perhaps it came on one. I don't know. Again, you know, this is probably not worth anything, any of this. Finesse. Ooh. Mum got excited about this, and then we realised it was, it was one of those bracelets you wear that's got a magnet on it. And you wear it if you've got arthritis. <laughs> I don't think it's they worth much either. So a lot of these might go to the charity shop or, you know, I'll find a home. I, I do also have, there's a local artist, I've mentioned her before, who does, she's a mosaic artist and she does the most amazing things. So I did take her some china. I mean, that bracelet would be no good for her, but china that's... Um, been chipped or is no good. I gave I took her a whole load, box load, and she did take it. She does say she gets given a lot of stuff, so she might not want it. But I know other people that do it as well, so I would try to do that rather than you know throw things away. This is vintage, a vintage cat, and it's got made in Russia. So it was obviously made in Russia for the UK market. I don't know if you can see that or not. Made in Russia, um, but it's actually quite a nice thing. It's got a fat cat. Again, you know, these things are probably worth about £8.50. But, you know, if you've got... I paid £10 for this lot, so even I, if I did get, I don't know, 5 or £10 for some of the things, I'm on, on to a winner, aren't I? I think that's everything in there that I've... Oh, there's one more necklace that we thought, what is that? I still don't know what it is. It's just an old necklace. I don't think it's got a great deal of value. We thought, oh, maybe it's an amber or something. It looks like mother of pearl that's gone a bit wrong. I don't know if you can see. If anybody knows anything about jewellery and could tell me anything about that, fantastic. It's very, very tarnished. So that's that lot. Let's get the next part of that lot. Bit of editing. I've just whizzed over there and back again. So it's the second part of that lot. 
it's just a random plate which is going to the artist i should think it's just broken plate this is a weird thing it's a really heavy bit of brassware mum said she thought it was a golf bag i've literally no idea what that is i doubt it's got any value and then we had these oh yes right so these are going to be something you either absolutely love these or i'm studiously ugly polystyrene which looks like it's been carved specially so there's a, a girl she's quite heavy she's undamaged she's got 12 written on the label i don't know if that was what they were charging she's got a book so these just sit on your on the shelf so, you know that somebody would love those i think i don't think i don't think they're valuable she goes back into her little polystyrene thing one thing it just have like it doesn't have much on the box there's no make that i can see and then there's a boy in a similar vein but if i sell those as a pair i can imagine somebody will buy them but i don't know how much for kind of nice but I, should, I reckon they're probably something that's sold in a sunday supplement what do you reckon again if anyone knows anything about these I am very happy to have your knowledge and wisdom because it's that's great. It's all part of the learning thing, isn't it? Polystyrene, oh, polystyrene snow and spiders and things, dead spiders. I've actually sold some of these recently. Justin gave me them. They're Chinese, I can't remember what they're called, Chinese balls that are supposed to kind of balance you, like yin and yang. I don't know how they do that but they make a little noise and he gave me something he had ages ago I, think I sold them for about a tenner so <laughs> again sell them for a tenner that's that's covered the cost of the lot oh, bless so many cobwebs at least they haven't got spiders we've had a couple of well three actually they look like they must have been siblings they keep appearing above my mum's um, great big hairy spiders above my mum's bed <laughs> First time they were really one of them was really high and the person that could reach it was Justin and then Justin wasn't here and I had to do the next one but I have a spider kit which is a glass and a bit of cardboard and I had that handy Stuart crystal again it's a little bud vase it's quite pretty and it's in its box and undamaged so I'm quite interested to see what these what value these have got so nobody else was interested in them so I doubt that I'm going to make my fortune. What is that? It looks like a watch battery. I oh, know it's some sort of little coin. Oh, no idea what that is. I'll have a look at that. I don't think it's anything really. And this is, ooh, what is this? It's a little, um, it's either a pill box or a little trinket box. Fine bone china Woodstock, England. That's quite pretty, isn't it? I picked up something similar free just on my travels, which I happened to have the letter Jane on it. J on it rather for Jane and uh, Justin picked it up for me. Perhaps he picked it up for himself, who knows. Just a little tray, little vintage tray. Uh, it just says hand painted by Peggy Lawson on the back. I think it's rather lovely actually. And it's signed Peggy Lawson. I'll have to look her up and see who she was whether she was well known this looks like a paperweight yep that is a paperweight oh it's just a it's one that's tudor crystal handcrafted full lead fine english crystal but i just suspect the fact it's edward simmons and partners makes it worth not very much at all and then finally from this first lot some Galway Irish crystal, 24% lead crystal. It's just a little glass. Or maybe it's a vase. I don't think you drink out of that, would you? I don't know. I'll have to look into that as well. So that's lot one. So this is my next lot, which I think I paid £18 for this. It's not got very much in it, so you might think I overpay, but I still think I can make a profit. It's got a big Denby jug. I can't remember the pattern name, but I don't think it's on there. Denby. No, can't see. It's, I think this is a jug rather than a coffee pot because it hasn't got a spout. It 
does need a good clean. But I've had this, I've got this pattern, so I can find out the name of this pattern. I think I've got a little sauce pot or something on, so I can find that. It's very heavy, um, and Denby always sells anyway. And I've picked this up, and the reason I picked this lot up actually was because I thought this was interesting. It's a Queen Victoria Jubilee Plate, 1887. So that's actually an antique, isn't it? It's a little bit faded. The gilding has come off round the edges. I suspect the colours were brighter than this. But a few people have put them on eBay for about £30. And I thought, well, yeah, like £20 for it. It's paid for the lot, hasn't it? And again, it's a learning exercise as much as anything else. What else did I get in this lot? Oh, I love the shape of these. These are art. It's art deco, isn't it? This, this sort of shape. I don't think they're anything special. Um, there are four plates like this. I think they're rather lovely, actually. I like those. Um, and they are SBL Elephant Pottery. Don't know. Never heard of it. I've got other plates. They're cake plates, aren't they, really? Um, I've got other plates of that shape. And I have sold plates of that shape. And they're not massive. They're valuable. But they're still be, they'll buy them. And the final thing in this lot, so there so wasn't a lot in, in this, was this... These are mainly West Germany. Furstenberg, I think they were called. I don't know if they've ever been taken out of the box. Oh yeah, here we go, Furstenberg. So they're made in West Germany, so they are vintage. And they're like, what do you call these? Coasters, I think they are. They've got flowers on them. Just says made in West Germany on the back. They literally don't look like they've ever been used. I feel like... This lot may have been you know, somebody that's died or house clearance or something. It doesn't look like they've ever come out and they were wedding present. So, but again, interesting, interesting. I don't know how long it would take me to sell things like this. That's what I do find that kind of moving from clothing to bric-a-brac is there's a few downsides. One is all of the packing, everything's so breakable. They take up more space to store. They take longer to pack and they're quite niche. But they are interesting, much more interesting than the clothing. So I've kind of, I'm thinking I should do the clothing again. But, um, and I do have some clothing. I and mean, you've seen I've picked up clothing recently, actually. Um, and I was really thinking of putting that on Vinted Pro. I still haven't set up my account on Vinted Pro. I need to do that. But the reason I haven't done it is because you need a separate phone number to your personal Vinted. And I haven't got around to just working out how to do that yet. But... As somebody said to me, well, just get a SIM card and just, you have to use a SIM card just for that, for Vinted. But I do have a spare old phone of my dad's. I might do it on that. So, yeah. And that's what I was thinking of the clothing. The clothing is easy, but it's not so easy to source good clothing now. People are hanging on to it or selling it themselves. So that's another reason to look elsewhere. But, you know, really, at the end of the day, I think I'm not any ever going to be any kind of specialist. I'm just whatever looks interesting this box all oh right so these are two banana boxes of china uh, how much did i spend how much did i spend on these oh, i'll tell you in a minute because i've got the oh, here again i thought i got the receipt in it but i haven't i've just got the auction catalogue i'll tell I'll, I'll put it on the screen i can't remember how much i spent on them but i, I bought them for these this was really my whole thing for buying them. These beautiful plates. They're, I think they're all stunning. They're all slightly different. They're Royal Albert um, Provincial Flowers and they're all, they've all got different names. And I think they're just gorgeous. People like Royal Albert. Some Royal Albert stuff goes for a lot and some not so much. I just think they're lovely. So that was my reason really for, that's why I was attracted. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. I think they're lovely. I'm trying not to break those. Um, and I also picked up a load, there's also here, a load of summer chintz, Johnson Brothers summer chintz, which I I sell already. I've had some of that. Some of it's in really poor condition though. So when I got to the bottom, I realised that a lot of it would just have to go. 
Uh, this one is okay. It's a sandwich plate. And this is summer chintz. It's still popular. People still have this stuff. It was very big in the 80s. I had it as a wedding present. Um, but it's, if people have still got the sets, it's vintage obviously now, then they'll pick up a bit. So I still do sell some of it, but it's not massively valuable. That is not summer chintz. That is Queen's Fine Bone China. Just one, one little mug. Country Meadow mug. Uh, and then, oh yeah, these are, oh right, okay, this goes with that. These are salt and pepper pots, which are the same design as that. So maybe I could do those as a little lot. Oh, forgot these. So I've had a quick glance through, because you can't really get them out. You can, get, you can see the top stuff, but you can't pull everything out of the box when you're viewing. These are three little egg cups. So look, it's quite a sweet little set. I mean, the cup is a bit random by itself, but I'll shove it together. And then a really bad lot of dinner plates that are literally all chipped. Some of them I save and I put them under my plants. So I'll definitely make sure they're chipped and really stained. I don't know if you can see that. Really, You can't get that sort of staining off. I've had that before and you just can't get that off. It's so stained. Um, so those four all just to go. They're five actually. They're all in terrible condition. They will just go to one of my arty friends. Also this, it's because it's, it's actually not chipped, but it's got that same really bad kind of, I don't know what it is, where it's stained or it's been scratched and marked and it's just been in storage for a long time. It's a shame. I might actually try to get that off. And there's another one of those. That's why I might try to get that off. <coughs> I might just stick some of that barkeeper's stuff on there, see if I can get that off. Excuse me, coughing continuously. It really is. It's a really annoying. And a little vase in the same pattern. One of these, but this is damaged. It's got a little chip there. Tiny little chip. Perhaps I'll put that with the others. There's others. I might still sell them. Um, that's just a kind of plate stand or something, isn't it? I think that's still summer chintz. It looks very summer chintzy. Uh, we have these bowls. <coughs> I haven't inspected them that thoroughly, but they all seem okay. A little bit faded, maybe, that top one. They all seem okay. I mean, everything needs a good wash, obviously. Oh, I've probably looked at this. I think this might be broken. Oh, no. It's a terrine. It's a terrine. It seems to be in... Oh, I thought that was broken. Well, it's not broken, so I've got to try not to break it. Little tree, and then a butter dish, but it's got a spare saucer. So I'm not sure what to do with that. So that, some of that was okay. Those dinner plates were all terrible. Shouldn't have really been put in there at all. But you know, oh no, is that a chip? Feels like a slight. It's not really a chip. It's just a. Oh yeah, they're both slightly chipped underneath. Slightly, but only underneath. So yeah, it will affect the value. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to sell those. I might put them individually or I might, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So, and then the other lot, I didn't say I picked this lot up for the beautiful Royal Albert plates. I didn't really look at this stuff at all. Another edit, let's move this around. I'm trying not to break anything. Okay, edit finished. So we have these, which are unbranded, but I thought I'd get these on for Christmas because that's a nice plate, isn't it? To have all your snacks and things on. Bowl of hummus in the middle, carrot sticks. It's not branded or anything, but it's rather nice. I actually like that, but I don't need it. And it has a matching serving dish, a plate, serving plate really. Big one. So that, that was actually quite nice. I didn't realise that was nice. And then we have a lot of this pattern. It's quite a nice pattern, very, very grubby. And it's, um, oh, it's French. Pili, Pili, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's spelled P-I-L-L-I-V-U-Y-T. Pili Vui? I'm not great at French. I've got, that's just one dinner plate. I have a jug. 
I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve saucers. Oh yeah, it says Pilavi France porcelain there and um, a load of cups as well but probably not as many cups as there are saucers little cups another smaller jug it's it's a nice it's like morning glory isn't it it's a nice design is that morning glory i would say that is somebody will tell me something else i mean people on in my comments and on instagram are a mine of useful information because they know stuff that's quite handy and a load of the side plates or cake plates as well. So I've probably got about 10 of those. And one last thing here of that pattern anyway. Oh, can I show you that? Oh, it's a sandwich plate. Sandwich plate. I could maybe do this sandwich plate with some of the, the um, plate plates, little plates. And this lovely dish as well. It's actually nice. If you think about it, don't know if it's got a great deal of value. I, I suspect it hasn't. When I came back from the auction last time, I was very, very carefully sorting through everything. And then I picked up a box to move it and the bottom just kind of fell out a little bit. And I quickly put it down, but it had broken one of the coffee pots that was in there. So I'm being super cautious now. One of those cups I can see just there. It's got a massive chip on it, so it can go. And then there's these plates, which are not the same pattern, although they are kind of similar. They are Bavaria, West Germany. So these are also vintage cake plates, but they're a similar sort of, um, oh, this one is the same. Ah, oh, that one is the same. So that one does match, it's a big, flat serving plate and that one is similar so I can imagine why they've bought that because it's also got that morning glory on it but it's a different design it's really pretty I do think that's lovely so yes yeah, so I've got this so now this is everything I got for my 68 pounds and I think it's all right I mean I'm certainly going to get my 68 pounds back aren't I so it's a lot of like washing stuff photographing it and getting it listed. So I'm going to try this afternoon. I've got a few other things to do first, admin jobs, but I'm going to try this afternoon just to start getting this stuff listed because it needs to go in the garage and not be in the house because I haven't got space for it in the house. Plus, you know, the longer it sits about, the longer it's going to, the more likely it is to get, get broken. So I need to do something with it. Anyway, so that is what I bought from the auction. Do, does anyone else do this? Does anyone else go to auctions and buy china or breakables or silver or gold or I don't know, any sort of collectibles? There was a lot of furniture there that was going for a song, literally nothing. Wardrobes going for a fiver. Um, chairs and nobody wanted these old armchairs. I'm surprised they even put them in the auction. We sat on them. We sat on these old, they were like Urkel type armchairs, but very, very well worn. Um, I didn't stay to the end, so I don't know what they went for, but other bits of furniture like that were going for nothing. So, you know, if you ever know anybody who is setting up the ho home on very little money, get them to go to the auctions. They can get such bargains, even cheaper than charity shops, although charity shop furniture stores are also very good, aren't they? Um, there was a lot of jewellers, uh, dealers of jewellery. They knew what they were doing with the gold and the silver, and they were bidding quite a lot. There was... a uh, a massive load of Besic figures, loads and loads of it, horses. It was a, a horse and hounds type scenario where there was about 15 pieces in there, farm animals, all sorts. And that was exciting, quite a lot of interest. And I did look at it. I thought, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I have no idea what it sells for. I, I'm not going to bid on any of it. I'll just learn. I'll just look and see what it goes for. So I started writing down what it went for. So I've got a kind of rough idea and I'll look and see on eBay and other online platforms what people are selling them for, just for future reference. You know, maybe I'll see some cheaply at a boot sale or something. There was a lot of Caithness paperweights, which I did think they were boxed. I thought I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a bid on those, but the bidding went so fast and much went beyond my limit that I'd set myself that I, I just, there were three or four lots. I bid on one, and then I just thought, no, I'm not going to 
there's no point, I'm not gonna bid as much as other people are doing it, so I didn't do that. And there were a couple of more things that I could have bid on if I had stayed till the very end, and we'd kind of had enough by there. We'd sat around and gone through all these things we weren't interested in. Um, saw a few friends, had a little chat, but you know, I'd had enough and mum had had enough, so, but it was really fun. So even if you do, if you just go along out of interest, I think it is, it is a fun day out. As long as you set yourself limits on things, if you see something you like, particularly if you're gonna sell it, it's something you like for yourself you can decide how much you want to pay but it you know it is worth doing it oh, one thing i nearly i really wanted i really wanted and i did bid up to 50 pounds was a vintage sunburst clock you know those ones that you see on I think they're 50 60s maybe and they literally sunburst the clock and it was working because it was behind the auctioneer and i looked at it the whole time and it was keeping perfect time and i thought i'm gonna bid on that what would that go for? And I, just before it came, it was coming up, I looked on eBay and saw that they, people were asking £150 for them. So I thought, mm, oh, I'm not going to get that. Maybe I'll get that for 50 quid. And Because I, I want a clock. I, I'd like a clock downstairs. And I thought, well, even if I decide I don't want it, I can sell it at profit. But it went, I want to think it went for about £75, £80. So um, I set myself a limit. That's my point there. Set yourself a limit, think, well, I'm not going to go above this. Don't get overexcited, you know, and end up with a load of stuff that you could have got more cheaply. What's the point of that? Um, if it's safe, it's something for yourself and you really, really want it and you would go maybe higher than me, that's fine as long as you know you couldn't get it cheaper elsewhere. So all the fun of the auction. Really did enjoy it. We'll go again next month, I think, and but I need to get these listed in the meantime. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do give me the thumbs up and let me have all of your comments and advice. I've really, really up for that in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.